exciting is it to be out here and see this girl? <laughs> you have no idea. You have no idea. It's a dream come true. looking for a really good community partner for our project team and we found Cooper Academy. We came and met Jocelyn and were immediately sold. <laughs> and we said, what can we do? What's your biggest need? If you had any wish in the world, what would it be? And they said, we really need a new playground. But man, that's a big ask. And I thought, we understand, you know, if you can't make it happen. We said, done. We've had tons of different fundraising events um, with all of our contractors, with Fluor, with Nova Nordis. Um, and lots of community partners, so it's been a year. It's a very exciting day. This is something we would never, um, and I say never, have been able to raise the funds on our own without the big organization of floor coming in. So we feel extremely blessed, and our children matter. Our kids deserve to come to school and get a great education, and also be able to have an outlet like this every single day to enjoy. So welcome to the ribbon cutting ceremony for the new STEAM playground that was sponsored by Fleur. So how did we get to this huge playground behind me? It was a, took a lot of effort. It started back in April 2017, so a year and a half ago, and I was introduced to Cooper Academy. And we immediately wanted to get involved with a restart because we knew that their curriculum was going to start focusing on science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And Floor supports that completely. So my colleague Cindy Moorhead and I, we put together a fundraising plan. And for the past 12 months, we've done fundraising events to raise the money to make this a reality. And there have been a lot of key people throughout this whole process, and I could never name all of them. But I just want to tell them thank you so much, and our kids and our families and our future families are so appreciative of everything and all of the time that you have given us. Thank you, Heather. So next, I'd like to introduce Amy Bryson. She's the communications lead for Nova Nordis new facility here in Clayton. And she's been instrumental in supporting our partnership with Cooper. And I'm so happy that she's gonna keep this relationship going long after um, Fleur has left Clayton. Nova Nordis is a pillar in this community and we are lucky to have them as a client and a partner. Good evening. Oh, that works. <laughs> So I was kind of the torchbearer for Nova Norris getting involved, although it wasn't a very hard sell. Um, obviously with STEAM education, building stronger communities, and also promoting youth fitness, this aligns with everything that Nova Norris supports in community involvement. And obviously partnering with Floor, who was responsible for our construction and engineering project with the Dave U.S. project. The other thing that Nova Nordis finds very important is not just being a passive donor, but also activating those campaigns, so finding opportunities for our employees to get involved too. Um, and obviously, Floor brings with them a lot of expertise in you know, their tools and their fancy equipment and their capabilities in building a playground. But I was even more impressed at the administrators and the teachers and the PTA and the spouses and you know some desk workers like myself who had zero skills in this area we were the ones actually slinging the such hammer and mixing cement and pushing the sand like this is not just the experts at work here um in fact on the day of the build i met a fourth grade teacher named Mrs. miss crystal i really hope you're here and because eight o'clock in the morning she tells me I don't really like being outside. I don't like the heat. I don't like the bugs. And I don't know how to put any of this together. I'm like, it's July in North Carolina. None of this is avoidable. <laughs> so I asked her, instead of saying that, I asked her, why did you want to get involved? Like, what motivated you want to be a volunteer? And what she told me was, 
I didn't, I didn't know, know what I was signing up for, but I wanted to be the first name on the list. And I wanted to be here tonight to see the look on everybody's face when they go to play with this playground. And yes, Nova Nordisk can support and floor cares and they drive this project, but it really is the administrators and the teachers that give me the most faith that sustainability of this project is gonna be success successful. Thank you. Next up, we have Dwayne Patterson, and he's the director of the North Carolina State Parks and Recreation. Thank you so much, Mr. Patterson. So many times when you come to speak, it's because the state had to contribute money, but you've done a great thing here today. You pulled yourself up and you did it yourselves with Nova Nor Norvis and Flora here together down in Johnson County. I'm from Lenore County, so I know what it means to do it on your own. But I want all the children to come up front right quick for one minute. Come on. Can you say that? Can you say now, I'm going to practice it one time. To all the teachers here at Cooper Academy, you say... Thank you! To Nova Nordis, you say... Thank you! To Floor, you say... Thank you! We're going to play on this playground soon, right? You say... Thank you! Thank you very much. You can go back now. <laughs> So now it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Ross Renfro, who's the Johnston County Public School Superintendent. He served the students and community of Johnston County Public Schools for more than 25 years and is a lifelong native of Johnston County. Good evening, everybody. How are you doing tonight? Uh, glad to have at least one board of education member here tonight, Ms. Teresa Grant. Ms. Grant, thank you for coming. Any other board members here? Seeing none, thank you for taking time to come and support the Cooper Academy community. Uh, we could not do community partnerships like this without the support of our board of education. Um, to the community, to our community partners at Novo and Flora, we're humbled by your generosity in what you have done to put our students in a position to be successful. Getting outside on the playground is crucial to what goes on during the day. Teaching and learning is so important, but students need an outlet as well, just like the adults do. So thank you, we appreciate it, and have a great evening. We appreciate your support. That was awesome to have the children come forward and express their appreciation. And I want to add to that and say a few thank yous. We had a lot of volunteer leaders, but we also had a tremendous partnership with Cooper. It began as elementary and today it's Cooper Academy. The leaders in our partnership did an awesome job so that we had activities between our relationship every single month. It wasn't just about the playground, it was about supporting the teachers and the people that work with the children and the children. And those leaders are Heather Moser, who, who you saw recently, Cindy Moorhead standing here who works for four and put many hours in to go into the program. And Amber Wilson, our leader for this project. Please give them your Now, the last group we'd like to thank are the teachers and the custodians and the teacher assistants, and the administration, and the Cooper staff, the whole Cooper team. In your school, you have a quote from the famous philosopher, Dr. Seuss. I saw it on a poster, and I want to get it right. The quote is, a person is a person. 
no matter how small. And what this is about is truly helping and supporting and encouraging and loving and inspiring people that are now children. And we recognized when we met Dr. Flores and the staff of Cooper Elementary that they truly are servants that love the children and that they're here because they love the children, they serve them, and they want to inspire them to greater things. And we, we couldn't help but want to commit to our partnership with you from the very beginning. And it's been a lot of fun. This is a symbol of our gift and our transfer of all those many people and companies that volunteered and donated funds, almost $180,000 for the best playground in Johnston County. This is a symbol of that gift and that transfer of the great playground that's behind us to Cooper Academy. We hope that the children have a lot of fun and a lot of growth and a lot of learning on this view. Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if my voice is quite as loud, well, but um, I, I use the mic. I, okay, okay, this mic's going to work for me. Um, you have made <laughs> all of our dreams come true. Seriously, this is more than we could have ever possibly imagined. And you can see the looks on our kids' faces tonight. They cannot wait to get on that playground. So thank you from um, the bottom of all of our hearts. We are so blessed. We are so grateful. Um, and we will make good use of this playground. Thank you. God bless you. We can't wait to get on it. Thank you.